Hi guys, welcome back to Camps Tech Talk. This will be our next session on uh, Experience Cloud, but it will be Experience Cloud certification part. Okay, how? What's the best way? And what are the resources? What are the online resources we are going to discuss today? Okay, so get ready. I'm coming back, and we'll go step by step how to start and where to end and what's the whole part of certification for experience cloud chase guys see you soon right here you go i am back again and we are going to start experience cloud certification part many questions came in and people were asking so here you go so what are the first what is the first step where do I find the study guide what are the best online resources right is there any prereqs there is always a prereq it's not prereq means that we are not forcing you guys but I think it's good to have an understanding when I am actually ready to do this exam okay so first step is we're gonna discuss all right and let's start so there you go again who should take this course number one this is this is actually designed for experienced administrators right because those admins they are basically the core of the business they're already working on the different Salesforce orgs right they know the environment they know the permissions they know the profiles they know all the basic stuff of the orgs I would recommend or suggest even Salesforce is recommending guys it's it's actually a big deal if you are a good Salesforce admin I would say you should go for at least six months experience or one year experience in admin side then go for this exam okay second one as a Salesforce admin, you should have a solid understanding of functionality and concept. This is, I just explained. So these are the points. Actually, it's Salesforce is telling you guys, this is where you should. Next one, six months, at least six months experience, right? But I would recommend because I have seen community cloud. I have seen the problems. I know what people, if you are only going for community support, then six, six months experience is enough. But if you are going for a broader and you're going to configure the big thing it's not easy because community has two different paths one is admin second is development you have LWC if you are man going to manage the previous orgs which you may have to deal with visual force pages so which means again two areas so admin and developer depending on the org depending on your experience what you want to do okay so these are just a hint very high level okay this person will be managing the experience cloud sites so experience cloud sites means so number one I'm keep on saying community 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 right it's community is the very known name when we previously started um, you know creating the customer portals and all that like it came up as a community cloud and and then Salesforce recently changed as the experience cloud so experience cloud it's all about user experience it actually created multiple jobs in the market number one obviously for the admins obviously for the uh, developers plus the UX the user experience design user interface because it even increased the more more uh, you know like demand of business analysts who can now closely work with the businesses on the interface how my customer experience how my portal experience how HR want to see when they publish the website for their employees so so technically there are four multi four different jobs in the market after launching after this experience cloud right the launch it's it's beauty right so technically you can work more all right let's go to the next one so this is I created some level of suggestion right it's because I have done my, my my whole experience I've done the community cloud certifications as well 
okay work with different businesses i always talk to you know multiple consultants different ideas from them as well so here is the suggestion guys right salesforce admin sales cloud service cloud the reason i put three of these you don't have to do all three i would suggest my um sorry i was about to say microsoft why but salesforce admin and either of either salesforce sales or service if you can do one of this certification prior to community at least you will have better understanding on what are the partners who are consumer who are customer who are client you need to understand the difference you all know what employee is but when your website is going to consumer or partners or channel partners channel account you need to know and what's the purpose of knowledge base right you need to know all these things what product is why we have a knowledge base just for one product right so these kind of things it's it's a daily use case in the business you need to know okay so this is very important guys when you working in the big businesses this is this is actually very important what what exactly the sense because you will be the talk you will be the front end person who will be talking to the business okay so my recommendation is at least two sides one admin second either sales or service anything then take it from there okay so yeah that's up so now let's comes down to the content right so we have many contents as we previous are you must must have seen admin content so here here what it covers experience cloud basics sharing visibility admin setup and branding so these are actually the four core item when you are getting ready for the exam so you need to cover these areas in the salesforce look guys this data also available on the trailhead.salesforce.com right even if you have already got web assessor account on salesforce so i would say when you go to the register page you can also find this information i'm not saying you should rely only on one website which is trailhead.salesforce.com but that place is good to get the content about this then you have resources i have multiple resources link which i will put those links into the description at the bottom of the uh, bottom of this video and you can take those links from there it will help you how to pass this exam okay but make sure make sure don't rely on one resource and and same as i know a lot of people they look at the mock up exam uh, sheets as well yes it's good but always verify because you know it can be dangerous all right next one so so there are like i i have covered these eight contents basically from 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 the resource websites as well from the salesforce site you can you can double check it right it also tell you what's the percentages on in the exam okay so user creation and authentication templates and theme customization and adoption and analytics so guys i'm going to flick again back so first of all admins they normally know sharing visibility and permissions it's easy setup and configuration again admin knows branding and personalization if you working more closer to the sales team or marketing team you will know the difference of this so this is why i'm saying at least 6 to 1 year 6 months to 12 months experience it will be helpful for you if you if you planning to do this exam okay don't go straight forward same as as a admin you already learned about the creation you already learned about authentication you know what's the difference you know mobile apps then obviously you must have heard about templates and themes if you don't know wordpress or if you don't know any other website this is a very common name and whenever you create any site it always have some themes and templates so salesforce is bringing similar concepts in here as well where you can create really good customer experience or us or user experience into the bundle and you can create the site okay again customization consideration uh, customization consideration and limitation all the salesforce people they must have heard the word limits right that's the common thing but obviously every product comes with limitations as well so there is a limit so you need to plan ahead 
it's best to talk to architects it's best to join some collaborations uh, sessions basically I would say go to online webinars go and discuss with people go go ahead and talk to the consultants who already done this kind of implementation always do the comparison is it good for my B2B is it good for my B2C but I am also coming with the next chapter there is a huge licensing comparison because there is a big confusion as as these as this this particular experience cloud has five different types so there is a plenty of option for you everybody but i am bringing that video in front of you in my next session which will cover the whole licensing about community community plus and and you know like partner community whatever it is but i will cover it properly all right adoption and analytics this is actually a core of of the management in the business right where there is always a management they want dashing dashboards they want dashing reports you know all sexy material in front of them people can see it basically because management need a report man how many complaints i have received yes i want to see the complaints right i want to explore more what the hell has happened behind the scene i want to see how many good customers we have i want to see is my partner channel is improve is growing right how it's growing how it's working they want to see the dashboards i will show you in my in my next video when we're working on it how it looks like it and and you know it, it's it's actually beautiful right so adoption and training as well training is must as soon as i launch my product anywhere you have to do you have to train users you have to train internal users you have to create videos for your consumers because you can't go to consumer and train you have to create videos for your partners i have did so many partner level trainings in the past where i trained multiple people on how to use my client portal basically how to use my my partner portal basically where they can where they can place different requests services bookings or whatever or product based services whatever you're using do you need to train your own partner so they can sell better okay so these are just examples guys but but you know what i'm talking about in a, in a general world right so once once you complete the course these are the things i you can you can read it by yourself but yeah so as we discuss what you are capable of it completely depends so this is good to know let me let me go through quickly enable digital experience in your organization generally yes right describe the capability of sites and how they works quick tip you can have many sites there is a limit i heard about 100 but i would say go ahead and go ahead and read on salesforce website what's the actual limit of number of communities okay you will be uh, you know after completing this it's straightforward you can create communities right and it, it will be straightforward definitely i will do a complete session for how to create community how to manage how to create permission set we will i will cover it for you in a couple of sessions of end-to-end -end community on this one as well okay and here is the material and the resource i put some links here but i will provide these links in the description so it will be helpful for you when you when you're reading or listening to my video so guys feel free to take these links try your luck my favorite one is focus on force um, i know many people they're using but you have other options as well so i think there is a certification in question i didn't put it here but i will put that link into into the description of my youtube video okay where you can take this whole stuff right so here you go guys thank you so much uh, for spending the time and listening to me and again feel free to follow like subscribe and please send me a comment if you want to learn any particular topic in in between um, the community or if you like to schedule any time with me i'm happy to do that i don't spend like you know multiple trainings but it will be it will my training sessions will be covered by my colleagues or my team members and it, it's a completely separate thing they are paid training but i do sometimes live sessions i do sometimes uh, microsoft team uh, group sessions where people come and join with me so feel free to join anytime with me and work with me see you guys thank you so much again and uh, keep loving thank you cheers bye